So I wanted to quickly go through how to actually um, import the Java template, the Stepping Stone Lab Java file templates um, into a project in NetBeans, and also how to go about making the necessary modifications to the package, make sure it's air free, um, and then also how to submit your .java files along with your code reflection in a zip file um, when you're completed and ready to submit. So let's go through that now. So the first thing you would want to do is create a new uh, NetBeans project. So let's do that. File, new project. Okay, we want to keep this default, Java application. Next. Okay, so we're going to call this Stepping Stone Labs. Okay, we're going to keep everything default. It's going to create this main class, which we can delete later. Um, that's fine. And we can click Finish. So when that's complete, the Stepping Stone Labs project should have been completed, and you should see the Stepping Stone Labs.java file open. So here's the, um, the project uh, directory. So you have the source packages. So you have this automatically created Stepping Stone Labs package, and here's the .java file that's open here. So we won't be needing this, um, but let's just go through how to actually import the templates, the Stepping Stone Lab templates. So we'll do Stepping Stone Lab 2 template how to import it into this project. So this is the directory um, that uh, contains all the Stepping Stone Lab templates. So we want to literally just drag the Stepping Stone Lab 2 template, so this is the .java file, we're going to drag it over into this package. Okay, so now it's there. So we can open up this ingredient calculator.java file. And um, notice there's a few things we're going to need to change. First, notice that there is this Stepping Stones um, package. And it's red underlined, meaning there's an error. It's the incorrect package name. Because it's expecting it to be Stepping Stone Labs. But here it's just Stepping Stones, right? Um, so let's first make that change. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new package. I'm going to call it exactly this, Stepping Stones. And we're going to make sure it's um, the, the case is case sensitive and, and make sure the S, S's are uppercase. So we're going to say right click new Java package. We're going to call it stepping stone. So it's exactly what's in the file. Say finish. And then what we're going to do is just drag this file up to this package. And we're going to say move without refactoring and say OK. And there you go. So notice now it's in this package. And notice the error went away because now the package names match. OK, so now let's actually get rid of this one here because this is just was automatically generated. We don't actually need that. So we're going to right click, delete, and it's gone. So the next thing you notice, there's just still this error, this right, um, this uh, red uh, mark here. And this is because the name of the Java file does not match the name of the class. So these always have to match. So what you can do is right click here, go to properties, under name, we can change this here. So we want to make sure this matches exactly the name of the class. So we can get rid of these spaces, put an underscore here, get rid of this space, and now it matches. We can hit enter. We'll say rename without refactoring, OK, and say close. OK, so there you go. So now the, the names match. So you'll still notice there's still an error here, and this is due to some other issues that will need to be resolved when you complete the um, modify the necessary variable names with their appropriate types and initial values. Um, so name of ingredient hasn't been defined. So there's other errors that you'll be able to resolve by completing the assignment. Okay, so let's go through the process of how to actually submit this once it's completed. So here's the directory where I saved my project. Okay, when I created the project, you specify the directory where you're saving it. So I saved it here. So I saved it. This is the Stepping Stone Labs project. Um, so we want to find that .java file that we'll be submitting. Okay, so we'll go to source, src, Stepping Stones. This is the package name. And there it is. It's here. Okay, so we're going to just copy this. Copy. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to create in this directory a submit directory and inside of this I'm going to put all the files I'm submitting so this is going to be first I'm going to open this up I'm going to paste 
the .java file. So this is the completed file that I'll be submitting. And then remember, you always want to submit your code reflection, your written code reflection as either a text document or a Word document. Okay, so I'm going to just create a new Microsoft Word document. I'm going to create it, call it code reflection stepping stone two. So we're going to assume now that the code reflection uh, stepping stone two lab stepping stone lab two code reflection is completed. You know, you've written, you've addressed all the the purpose of the code, the techniques implemented to solve the problem, um, the challenges you encountered while writing the code, and how you overcame those challenges. So those are all those are the um, the different points that you should be addressing in this code reflection. Okay, so I'm going to assume that's completed. We're going to assume that the stepping stone to ingredient calculator is completed. Um, the .java file of the code um, has been modified appropriately and completed and now we're going to submit it so to submit it what we're going to do is we're going to drag we're going to um, copy or uh, drag on both of the files we're going to right click we're going to go to send to compress zip file zip folder and here you go so you can leave it this name or call it whatever you want maybe call it stepping stone to lab final Okay, so this is the zip file that you created. It contains both of these files, and this is what you'll be submitting, the zip file. Okay, I hope all this makes sense. I um, hope you now understand how to, from creating the project to importing the template, modifying the template, um, the Stepping Stone Lab 2 template for completing the lab, um, and then actually how to uh, submit both the .java files that you have modified um, that contains all your code, as well as your written code reflection, how to zip those two files up and into a zip file, and that zip file is what you'll be submitting. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out, and I'm happy to help. Thanks.